Canada Artistic Swimming shuttered the doors of its training center on Monday. Swimmers got the news at a meeting with Julie Healy, the chief sport officer. We obtained a recording of that meeting. We cannot continue to operate in an environment where athletes don't feel safe, where the coaches don't feel that they can do their job without being accused of being hostile, harassing, abusive. In the last few days, emails alleging abuse were sent to the Federation, prompting an external investigation. Information that came in over the weekend via email was that um, we our, our training environment was unsafe, that the, the athletes uh, were being forced to keep quiet about it, um, about harassment and abuse. Uh, when you talk about um, allegations against who? The organization, Canned Artistic Swimming, the program, our coaching staff, me. Swimmer Claudia Holzner is shocked. I want to move forward. I want to make it to the Olympic Games. Obviously, you go through a lot of emotions when something like this happens. The investigation was sparked by an incident last Thursday at Montreal's Olympic Park pool. Some swimmers complained of comments about black people, Muslims and the LGBTQ community, allegedly made by the team's head coach, Gabor Zauder. Remarks that were so offensive to them, they complained to Healy that they no longer felt safe. CEO Jackie Buckingham says it's the first time she's heard about incidents of harassment and abuse at Canada Artistic Swimming. Club coaches say it's been going on for almost two years. Our people are not being investigated. Our issues are being investigated. I can't sleep at night being, being the person who knows what's happening and isn't doing anything. The external investigation will hear from club coaches. But it's the testimony of the swimmers themselves that will guide future steps, says the CEO. Jacinta Taillon, CBC News, Montreal.